Hello everyone, welcome to Salesforce Predator. In this channel, we discuss about various concepts and technologies in Salesforce. In this video series, we are discussing about platform events. In this specific video, we'll see how we can publish an event using Process Builder. A platform event can be published using either Process Builder, Flows, Apex class, or it can be published using Salesforce APIs. In this video, we'll specifically look into how we can publish a platform event using Process Builder. So we have a problem statement with us. Whenever a deadline field on account is updated, we need to update the deadline field on all the related cases of that particular account with the same value. Okay. Now this statement can be executed by other means like uh, flows or process builder, but we will be using platform event for our uh, demo purpose. Okay. So we'll go to our Salesforce org. Now uh, in our Salesforce, we have already create, created a platform event. Okay. So if you want to watch how we can create a platform event, you can go into the platform event uh, playlist in our channel and there you can find the videos on platform event and uh, platform event creations and other videos on platform events also. Okay. So here I have already created a platform event. I will just walk you through it. So platform event. You can see a platform event. I'll just open it. Uh, so we have a platform event update case on account update and uh, you can see the event type and publish behavior. We have selected publish after commit as published behavior. Okay. So and we have also created two new fields uh, in this platform event. So we have account ID field which will store the ID of account which got updated and this deadline field will store the value of a deadline field uh, from the account record which just got updated okay so we'll go to our process builder and uh, here we'll create a process builder and we'll see how we can publish an event the platform event with the help of process builder okay so i'll just verify whether we have a process activated on account yeah we do have a process already on account so we will just deactivate it for now Okay, now we'll create a new process. We'll name it as publish platform event. Okay. And this process will start whenever a record changes. That is when an account record gets updated. Okay. Now here we'll select object as account. And we'll select when a record is created or edited so this is when our process will start okay so we'll save this now we'll go to criteria uh, before that i'll just show you we have created two custom fields both on account and case object and they are of date type that is the deadline field okay so these fields we will be referring in our processes okay so if i go to account you can see in the custom field we have deadline date and its type is date similarly in case fields in the custom fields we can see deadline date field okay so we'll add a criteria now so for criteria name we'll specify account is updated and for criteria for executing actions we'll use formula well to true okay and uh, We'll use a function, logical function, okay, and we'll use is new, okay. So here we'll use and of, not of, is new, comma. Again, we'll use a function, and this time advanced one, and we'll use is changed okay so 
is changed off here we'll use a field deadline date okay so is changed off account deadline date this field we need to remove and we need to close the packet okay yeah so uh, this process will uh, run and this criteria will be satisfied whenever an account record is updated and its deadline date is changed okay so it won't be executing when an account record is created okay so we will just save this now next thing is we need to add the action to our process so for action type we need to create use create a record action why because we need to create a record of a platform event okay so we have a platform event over here and we need to create record of this platform event and we need to specify values in those fields which we want to pass as an event message to the uh, subscriber of this platform event okay so we'll name it as create platform event for action okay and here for record type we need to select the name of this platform event okay so we'll select for platform event okay we'll just look for it maybe api name uh, Okay. No, we cannot find this platform event. Let's see. Yeah, we can find update case on account update. Okay. Mm -hmm. Next is we need to specify fields of this platform event. So we'll specify account ID and for type we'll specify field reference and here we'll specify ID of account which started this process, right? So it has to be account ID. We'll add one more row and we'll specify deadline date and it should be of type field reference and we'll specify the deadline date of account okay that's it so we'll save this so this way we will create a record of this platform event okay and whenever a record of a platform event is created that means platform event uh, is published okay so that's it we can activate our process we can confirm this yeah so whenever uh, an account record will be updated and its deadline field will be changed so at that time uh, this process will execute and uh, it will satisfy the criteria and as a part of action it will create a record of a platform event which means this platform event will be published okay so how we can subscribe to this published event we will see in the next video if you have any questions up till now, you can write it down in the comment section and do not forget to subscribe this channel. Thank you.